Hello and welcome to Minecraft with Cypher Static. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, there's my pretty little mug and I've just been playing around with some of the things on Cam Studio. Well, while we're at it, I might as well show you guys some of the things I've been doing in my original world while I wait for Let's Play to load. Ah, uh, yawn. So yeah, right now this is just an experiment showing what to do with this software, as well as me showing off and bragging about a few things. Yeah, nobody loves a bragger. Building terrain. Wow. Um, yeah, I think this is a little slower than usual. I'm going to drop down the frame rate. Ooh, little whoopee. So... Let's begin this little tour. I'm starting off right now in my house. This is pretty much my second house. My first one's way over there. Yeah, sorry about the little cloud fuzzy stuff, but when running with this um, webcam thingamabobber, it's sucking up a lot of resources. So. Anyways, this is my house. Not really too much of note has a wolf, as we see. The normal chest furnace building thing with the bed on top. Has a nice little view to the outside. Reason why this is important is because there was a mine down here which I flushed out and got some good shit. So, the other thing of note is within this area of my world that I actually play, I need to plant more stuff. There is an underground passage. Where does this underground passage lead to? Every single other area in this basin, in this little sector of my empire. We'll start off with. The spawn farm. Spawn farms are nice because it allows me to collect stuff from creatures of the night without actually having to deal with them. And this one is based off of the lava grinder. And as you can probably hear, they are dying. That are dying makes Cypher happy. So yeah, we have a little bit of a big screen, quote unquote, TV right here to watch the mayhem. Here, my little green monster. Oh my god, he's just give me a push from my stress whenever I see him in the wild. The one nice thing about this area right here is this door. As you can see, it's lined with red wire. Redstone, whatever. I'll just call it red wire. So, yeah. The thing about this is whenever there is stuff on the pressure plate, which means things have died and given me their goodies, that wire actually goes under here, up to this door. How this is set up is there's a little box right here, two levels with a water conveyor belt going straight in. And it's getting nice so. While it's getting nighttime, as you can see here, this is my other mob trap. It's a modified variation of the drunken custer killer. Uh, the reason why it's modified is you see the, ca the cacti up there. That's for the spiders because they start climbing. And if they're climbing, that means they're not dying. Everything else can drown, but those, but those bad boys, they need, they need cactus to kill them off. Well, there are other ways too, but cactus is the most efficient. This is skull spire, which. 
I will have to give some credit to Yahtzee from Zero Punctuation for giving me this idea. I got a template for the skull on YouTube. I'll find the different stuff for that. So, basically, first floor is my tree farm. Second level is basically massive storage, which I haven't even used yet. Third level is the living quarters with an infinite cobblestone generator. And the portal to the nether. That place is scary. I'll just sleep right here because of the simple fact that I hate night. a place where I was going to spawn creatures, but it didn't work very well, but makes an excellent dog pen. Hey boys. Every part of this hole too, I had an idea for, but I don't know what to put in this room. This is the eyes, and there's some more of the bunks. Did I just hear a slime? I, yep, there they are. I hate these. These things aren't really painful as they are annoying. Oh, this could hurt. Come on. Die. Out of my mind. Out of my mind. And the bad part is, there's nothing useful about slimes. So yeah, running in a simple branch pattern. I really want to kill that thing, but I don't... Ah, hell it. This is a three level mine. I'll just get that out of the way right now. And, yeah. This thing needs to... This thing needs to die. Oh yeah, these things need to die. When they get that big, that's when they can start doing some damage. And that was loud. Yeah, when they get that big, they can do some damage. So, I will show off the last part of this underground network. 
and cut it off from there. So the thing that is a pain in the keister when it comes to deep mines, it takes forever to get up and get down. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump, 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 jump. Shut the door. So yeah, we're back in the underground passageway again. And yeah, mental note, never run a lot of programs. This goes up to Skull Spire, which we saw earlier. Over this way goes to the mob killer and the first house we saw. What's down here? I hear voices in my head, they count some... Wait, no one's talking to me. And we're running, and we're running. And we're running, and I see ladders. So this means we're at the end of the tunnel. And what do you know? Underwater. Nice, tranquil, peaceful, zen-like. So, as you can see, this is my base. And if I could just close the door and get out of here. You gotta be careful when making these, because the sound of running water can be very annoying. <laughs> if you guys want any tutorials on how I did all my stuff or where I got the inspiration for it, leave something in the comments because I'm here to help you guys out. You want to know more about Skull Spire? I will give you guys the, um, the link as to where I found my Skull template. I had to cut it down a bit though because I only wanted the face, I didn't want the back of the head. And the last thing, which is the thing I've been working on most recently, is over here. And I am walking very slow, you can see things rising in the distance, so I have a lot of stuff going on. As you can see from the bottom, you should see YouTube, which is loading the f my first Let's Play, taking forever. Phoenix Viewer, Second Life, sadly. Webcam stuff, Cam Studio, and Minecraft. So this is the thing I have been working on as of late in my world, another mine area. Saw this cool thing down at the bottom, and I'm like, ooh, that'd be great for an underground farm. So back here we've got my little bedroom for this area, an Olympic sized swimming pool, I don't know, should I drop the water level down, maybe one, what the heck is, oh, from there I thought that was a chicken. And over here we've got my little storage container, blah blah blah. And down here is the mine. Now the interesting about thing about this was most of this was natural. The depth is natural. I just edited a few things, brought down some ground, and what do you know? Got a place to spawn farm animals. Haven't seen any yet. Got a little tree farm. I'll need to expand more of topside later. And over here I got me food. Beautiful. Well, if there's anything you guys want to know about how I did all my stuff, just send me a question, comment, concern, whatever on my status, and I'll be happy to help you out with how I did my stuff. This has been Cypher Static, signing off. You guys have a good one.